overview of what the 165 grain trophy bonded tip did in my ballistics gel test. I shot a low velocity round out of a 308 and a high velocity round out of a 300 wind mag. That high velocity round impacted the gel at just under 3200 feet per second. My first low velocity round impacted the gel at around, it was I think it was 1288, so it was just under 1300 feet per second. Had a um, hotter load went ahead and shot it and it was just barely over 1900 feet per second. Both of those performed fairly well, but did uh, veer in the gel. I was able to catch that one going just over 1900 feet per second and that had a 164 grain weight retention. We'll start with that high velocity load left to right. Going through my board you have almost immediate expansion with that massive portion of the uh, permanent move cavity carrying from that one inch mark to ten and a half inches uh, tapering down still carrying some permanent moon cavity all the way to where that leading edge of that bullet is 28 and a half so overall very very impressed with what these bullets did those low velocity loads That first one going roughly 1300 feet per second exited the gel at 20 inches. The other one exited the second gel block at 26 and a quarter. But I had another block setting up here and it was actually caught between my two blocks. That good portion of that. Uh, permanent wound cavity on that higher velocity around starts opening up at about an inch and a half you see it carrying from that inch and a half mark to just past 15 inches when it pin lines and exits the gel top here but you have really really similar to permanent wound cavity and then where it exited the gel at about 20 inches there You're going just over two inches by just over two inches and those two Permanent wound cavity on the low velocity ones look, they're running really close to each other and they look really, really similar to each other running through there. Let me go ahead and cut this bullet out of here so I can weigh it and get a weight retention on it. gel out of it quick and wait I'll be right back weight retention on that was 135.9 so overall still a good weight retention on the high velocity gorgeous mushroom um, my blocks are not perfectly square but you're five and a half by six and you got it tearing on all 
almost all sides. You're not quite all the way through here, but just massive hemorrhaging. Um, honestly, I expected these to perform really similar to uh, the Acubons or the Swiss Sicaros, but I have to say on the lower end, definitely outperformed both of them. And on the higher end, every bit as adequate. Um, thoroughly impressed with these bullets. Hope you guys enjoy this video.